Hey, how's it going guys? Captain Cuba here, and today we got some news about God of War. Dark Horse Comics has announced a new series of comic books called God of War Fallen God. When they finally release, we will have an answer to the question of what happened after the events of God of War 3, or more importantly, how Kratos got to Scandinavia. This is the description given by one of the writers of the comic. God of War Fallen God follows Kratos after conquering Zeus and thwarting Athena. Believing himself to be finally free of his bondage, he sets sail for the desert in an attempt to distance himself from his home and his shame, only to find his rage and guilt follow close behind. Kratos rages against the one foe that has proven to be unconquerable, himself. But a war against oneself is unwinnable and only invites madness. The line he sets sail for the desert gives us a clue as to where Kratos stopped by before he reached Scandinavia. Egypt. Also, the news of these comics even came with an image that shows Kratos walking in a desert-like environment, that shows palm trees in the distance, and he's even seen wearing a scarf to withstand sandstorms, I presume. Something else we see in the image are the Blades of Chaos, all rusted and worn out, identical to the ones seen in God of War 4. The question of how Kratos has the Blades of Chaos is another defense of the series I've been asking for a while. If you remember back in God of War 3, Kratos wielded the Blades of Exile, not the Blades of Chaos. And yes, I am aware of the theory that says both Blades of Exile and the Blades of Chaos are the same. But I cannot ignore the fact that Ares took them from Kratos in the first game, followed by Athena giving him the Blades of Athena. I don't really care what the answer is, I just want to know what's canon. Another interesting detail are the two wolves seen on the left side of the image. This is interesting for all the references God of War 4 makes to wolves. Atreus wants to turn into a wolf, in the last panel of the Jotunheim mural we see him walking among wolves, there's this huge threat of the wolves Skull and Hati starting Ragnarok. But most important of all, in the official God of War novelization, Kratos has a very odd memory within a dream. This is what it says. Kratos held a defensive stance, his back against a rock wall, his blades out to defend himself from a trio of yowling wolves twice his height, one black with verdant eyes, one white, and the third grey. The black beast seemed to be the alpha, assuming the most forward position. A beardless god of war, clad in the clothes of his life in Greece, slashed his plates of chaos to keep the predators at bay. But his actions failed to discourage their assault. Kratos realized that he needed to bring down at least one of the wolves if he hoped to survive their onslaught. The white wolves advanced as if it was on command. The movement revealed the woman behind the beasts, clad in a long cloak and cowl obscuring much of her face. Her raised arms sent all three creatures airborne to attack. Who are you? Kratos screamed with all the force he could muster just as the black wolf ripped into his thigh and dragged him away. Later in the novel, the dream is explained further. It's the wolf giants, Skull and Hati, Atreus pointed out. Kratos stared at the beast with a shiver of recognition, the image of him dressed in his Greek attire, being dragged by a verdant eyed black wolf, while the others flanked either side, flashed like lightning across his mind. Were those the creatures that brought him to this land? He could not recall them being that large. The beast that attacked him had determined his fate against his will, but for what purpose? Why was he meant to be in this land? It appears that Kratos was not attacked by the wolves nor the woman controlling them, they were simply the cause of him reaching Scandinavia. The identity of the wolves and the woman is still a mystery. Are these the wolves that brought Kratos to Scandinavia? Mm, most likely. In any case, these comics will finally give us a much needed answer. The final detail I want to talk to you guys about is the man seen on the right side of the image. I would straight up say that I don't know who he is, he seems to be a completely new character, perhaps the villain of these new comics? All we know is that he's friends with a giant baboon. So if you're interested in finding out what happened to Kratos after God of War 3, make sure you pick up these comics when they release June 24th. And that's gonna be it for today. If you find, found the video enjoyable or informative, make sure to give it a like and share it with fellow God of War fans. If you already enjoy my videos, you can watch some of these. With that said, thanks for watching, and remember, go forth in the name of Olympus.